All right, today we're going to check out this Sky Blue SB31 high band VHF TV antenna made specifically for RF channels 7 through 13. Sky Blue antennas are available exclusively in the US at Ness Electronics, located in Burnsville, Minnesota. The box describes this antenna as a metro antenna, and that refers to its reception coverage. Metro meaning it covers reception within a city and the surrounding area. So I would think that would put the mileage at somewhere between 25 and 40 miles, give or take. Of course, that depends on many factors such as broadcast signal strength, terrain, tree coverage, as well as other variables. Most TV antennas made nowadays are geared towards the UHF TV band, which covers RF channels 14 through 36, and that's where most broadcast stations lie. But there are still lots of stations across the US and Canada for that matter that broadcast on high VHF RF channel 7 through 13. And in a lot of cases, you may need a separate VHF antenna to receive those stations reliably. Out of the box, this antenna is pretty much fully assembled. All I had to do was unfold the elements and it's ready to be mounted on a mast. Now size-wise, this antenna has an overall length of about 40 inches. And here at the front, these front directors, the first one measures about 22 and a half inches across and then they get progressively longer till we come to the folded dipole. This is the active element on the antenna, the element that actually is connected to the coaxial cable. This folded dipole measures just under 31 inches across. And then the two rear reflectors are a little longer, coming in at about 35 and a half inches. So that puts this antenna squarely in the category of a small to medium outdoor directional antenna. The build quality of the SB31 is outstanding. The boom has a nice powder coating on it and is very rigid. All of the elements are tightly riveted to the boom as well. The elements themselves have nice neat crimps on the end and the tubing that's used for all the elements is a much wider diameter than you would normally see on an antenna this size. The mast clamp is also heavy duty with a much thicker diameter U-bolt than normally seen. And there is an integrated 75 ohm coaxial connector on the underside of the folded dipole that should keep that connection sheltered from the weather. Overall, this is a very well-built TV antenna. And here it is mounted on a mast about 17 feet in the air. I have it pointed in the direction of my local broadcast towers. The channels in my area all broadcast on the VHF band, two of them on the low VHF band, RF channels two and four, and one channel on RF channel nine, right in the middle of the high VHF band. I'm about seven miles through the air from the broadcast towers, but all of the stations in my area transmit with low power levels, 1.2 and 4.5 kilowatts. So now we'll go inside and take a look at the signal meter on my digital converter box and see how this antenna performs. Taking a look at those signal strength results, RF channel two, CKPR, broadcasting on the lowest TV channel on the frequency spectrum, low VHF channel two. Normally you would need an antenna that is much larger with longer elements to receive this station with a higher signal level, but this antenna is not doing too bad. It's a little lower than I expected, but 56 to 57%, that signal is barely moving. So this antenna is keeping it very stable. RF channel 4 CHFD, also not too bad. Signal level in the mid 60s, and again, it's barely moving, only fluctuating by about three or 4%. And RF channel 9 TVO, almost in the middle of the high VHF TV band, and right in the wheelhouse of this antenna, with a signal strength in the mid 80s, touching into the low 90s. Now, even though there's a lot more signal fluctuation on this channel, the gain that this antenna is providing is excellent. Overall, this Sky Blue SB31 is a great performer if you're looking to capture 
any RF TV channels from 7 to 13 on the high VHF band in your area, even though most channels broadcast on the UHF band, RF channels 14 to 36, if there is a high VHF TV channel in your area that you have to have, then you might consider adding on a VHF only antenna like this to provide reliable reception for that station.